What's going on you beauties? Thank you for joining me for another beer review, which of course means it's Beer Monster O'Clock. Uh, so today I'm going to be reviewing a Pilsner by Hertog Jan Brewery. It's a Dutch Pilsner, this one. Uh, Hertog Jan are actually owned by AB Inverv, which is a slight worry. Hopefully they ain't messed about with the beer. Uh, it's a 5.7% Pilsner, so it's got a big pair of balls, this one. Uh, it's strong for a Pilsner. Uh, and you don't really hear much like, in the way of Dutch Pilsners, do you? So I'm looking forward to giving this a try. I've also got a keg on the perfect draft that I've ordered, which is not here yet. So that'll be coming up within the next week or two, after the operation probably. Uh, yeah, I got this from Paul and Michelle from Rape My Beer. They kindly dropped me off a couple of cans of this when they sent me their new beer, the Yaga Doo Doo Doo. Um, yeah, they gave me a couple of cans of this as well. So I'm going to review one there on its own, and I might compare the other one to the Perfect Draft version when it arrives and see how much difference there is between the canned version and the Perfect Draft version, you know? Just another sort of video, comparison video out there to do. I like doing any old comparison videos. Um, yeah, let's crack it open and see what this is all about. 330 mil can. As I said, I don't know the price on this because it was a gift. It'd be a bit rude to ask, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, it is Dutch brewed and all that. So, And then they even gave me a little Hertog Jan Grand Pils of glass to drink it out of, which is very nice of them. Little half pint glass. There we go. Here's a little close-up look of the beverage. As you can see, we've got decent levels of carbonation. Um, going out of the glass. Fairly big bubbles, though. Uh... White head, foamy white head. Let's check out the aromas of Hertog Jan Grand Pilsner. The old Dutch Pilsner. And, um, it's like musty sort of smell to this for me. Sweet malt, sort of bready. Is there a slight metallic aroma coming through? I'm not sure. Corny, slightly corny. No, it, it smells all right. Uh, I was expecting it to smell a bit better, though, if I'm perfectly honest. But it's all about the taste, isn't it? All about the taste. So, yeah, let's go in with this one. Uh, let's give it a try and let you know if I think it's worth a buy. Thank you, uh, Paul and Michelle, for making my beer once again. And cheers, everybody. Bash. How to say cheers in Dutch? Have we got that on here? Uh, cheers in Dutch. Cheers in Dutch. Cheers in Dutch. Um, it's Prost. Prost, same as German, isn't it? So Prost, if you are from the Netherlands or Holland, I don't know, I don't know what you guys prefer to be known as there. Anyway, it's a chuck down neck. I would definitely say it's decent. And I'll say it's a German style Pilsner. Obviously it's Dutch, but I think they've brewed a German style Pilsner. <coughs> um, first impressions. It's, it's, a, it's a difficult one because it doesn't have that wow factor for me. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a very easy drinking, clean tasting Pilsner. Um, I was kind of hoping for a bit more bitterness, if I'm honest. It's no Pilsner Quell, that 45 IBU bitterness, I think it is. I think this has got um, 21 IBU rating. So it's definitely not the most bitter of Pilsners, I would say. So if you're not into your bitterness, and perhaps that you know puts you off a of pilsner. Don't need to worry this one. You've got nice sort of sweet, bready like malts with a slight sourness as well coming from the malts for me initially. It's like giving it a decent backbone to the beer. And there's other flavours in it, but they're all quite subtle actually. But it works, you know. A little bit of spice, just before that bitterness. Just a touch, it's not much. 
and a little uh, citrus kick as well. That sort of blends with the spice and then you get the bitterness that comes in. So 21 IBUs, it's not all that strong, but it does a good job of just cutting through the sweetness out of them malts and balances the beer off nicely. Um, I would have preferred a bit more bitterness, but that's just what I like. Um, but it's a decent solid beer. Uh, there's a bit of a crisp dryness going on as well near the end. Um, just dries your mouth out a bit and leaves you sort of salivating to get in there again. Being 5.7%, I was expecting it to have maybe a little bit more about it, if I'm honest. Um, it doesn't drink like a 5.7% Pilsner, that's for sure. Um, you can drink it just the same way. You, it's actually probably easier to drink than Pilsner Quell, which is 4.4%, because that's got that big bitterness on the end, isn't it? So, yeah, it's incredibly easy drinking for 57 which... Dare say when you get the old perfect draft, once you've swallowed a few pints of it, it'll probably catch up with you and it'll do the job. You know, without you having to have too consume too much liquid, so to speak. Um it's decent. I'm hoping it's gonna be a bit better on the perfect draft, if I'm honest. I think it's definitely gonna benefit from that perfect draft sort of mouthfeel and that, you know. Cause it's a little bit thin. I'm not massively. I'd say sort of medium level like feel to the carbonation. I mean, as far as Dutch Pilsen goes, there's not many. This is probably the best Dutch Pilsen I've tried, but it's not the best Pilsen I've tried. Um, but it is it is decent. Um it's got that Pilsen a bite, but it's more of a kind of aftertaste. It's not I would prefer a bit more of a bite. It's just sort of it's a gentle bite, it's a nibble. It's more of a pills than a nibble. And then it sort of lingers in the background a bit, if you know what I mean. So yeah, uh, I'm enjoying it though. It's incredibly easy drinking. I'm not really getting none of that alcohol. I was getting a slight metallic note on the aroma, to be honest. But I'm not really picking it up on the taste, thankfully. That's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, let me know if you've tried this one, guys. Um, if you've tried it on the Perfect Draft, let me know your thoughts on this beer. Or perhaps you've just tried to have a can. Or is it better on the Perfect Draft if you've tried it? What's your opinions or thoughts on this beer? But, yeah, I'm going to say it's a, a solid enough beer. It's just not quite wowed me as much as I was hoping. Um, you know, I love Pilsner. 5.7% Pilsner. The nipples were uh, tingling at the fault and the expectation of what that might be like. And I'm a little bit underwhelmed, but not disappointed. It's just, in some ways, it's, a po it's positive in a way, because it is kind of somewhat simple, but really easy to drink, which is good. But I just wanted a bit more from the bitterness, a bit more of a bite. But it's just a super easy drinking beer that could get you into trouble for that reason. Um, Score-wise, out of 10. Um, That linger is quite nice though on the end. Well, that's gentle. It does make you want to dive in there and get wet again. Uh, let's go out of 10. Difficult one. It's difficult because I am disappointed in some regards. But it, it is a really easy drinking, clean tasting Pilsner. Um... Or maybe I'm just disappointed because I was drinking Pilsner Quell last night and that's my favourite Pilsner. And I was expecting this to go head to head with it and I don't think it's quite there. But that is probably my favourite Pilsner and it's, you know, the the original Pilsner. All other Pilsners are just uh, imitating, aren't they? So won't the real... No, it's a song in that in there. Yeah, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I've got to be honest. 8 out of 10, I like it. I'm looking forward to trying the perfect draft and hopefully that extra body and perhaps might even get more flavour out of it as well. That will be interesting. Um, but until then, until the next one, I've got an operation on Sunday. So I'm sort of trying to film a few videos tonight to give you guys some content to watch because I need to have about four, four I'll go three days, four or five I'll go three days. That's going to be hard. And then there's the bum thing, um, camera up the arse, yeah. Anyway, 
You probably don't want to hear that. Till next one, people. Thank you for tuning in. Smash the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you've not done already. And you like beer, perfect draft reviews, all that sort of good stuff. Till next one, people. Bye-bye, darlings. Bye.